Hey everyone, ADH here. Now if you're struggling to find all of the stars on Jolly Roger Bay, I'm going to show you in this guide how to find them and how to collect them. I'm even going to throw in some tips and tricks along the way too. Now if you want to jump directly to a star, you can do that by using the timestamps down below. Now Jolly Roger Bay is the first water level you're going to be coming across. Let's just jump straight into the water. Now as you're going to find, swimming in water is not that quick, so if you swim down to the clamshell, there's going to be a green shell inside. Now by using the green shell, you're going to be able to swim around a lot quicker. However, be aware it only lasts for a certain amount of time. Now heading down towards the sunken boat ship, there's an ill in the background. All you need to do is get quite close to it, just underneath it, then swim away. I recommend maybe swimming back to the surface, getting some air again. Now if you head back down to where the eel was, you should find it's now gone. It should be swimming around the level. So where the eel was, just swim inside there and you're going to be transported to another section of the boat. Now there's going to be four chests here, so you need to go for the one right at the back first, then head back on yourself. That's going to be the second chest. Directly across is your third chest. And then the final chest is just in the middle. Now if you open these chests in the wrong order, you're going to have to repeat the order of chests. After you've done this, you just need to head all of the way up to the top. Be a little bit careful because you can easily slip off these platforms. And then grab the star at the end. Now for Star 2, we want to get back into that main area that you just were in in Star 1. However, there's not going to be the sunken boat ship there because it's risen to the surface. So you can get there by swimming or using the green shell if you prefer to go a bit quicker. So head down and in the distance here you'll see the eel peeking its head out of the wall. If you get close to it, it should start coming out towards you. Now you've got two choices, you can try and grab the star off of its tail here. Alternatively, you can just follow down the eel as he has come through and then grab the star off of his tail. For Star 3 now, we want to head back towards where we were in Star 1 and 2. However, there is a cave that is just a little bit further on. We want to head that way for the next part. Again, be aware, if you are running low on power, grab a coin if you're nowhere near the surface of the water, and that way you'll get your health back. So once you're in this cave area, just head towards the back, and we've got four chests again. So grab the first chest right at the back, go over to the left for chest two, over to the right for chest three, and finally at the front, chest four. Here we go! Now 
Now the eight red coins are hidden pretty well on this level. So we're going to start off with jumping straight into the water. Now if you swim down here, we do have some of the clam shells. So grab the red coin from this one. And then we're going to head up and there's going to be another red coin inside this clam shell. Coin number three is down the bottom. So head down to the clam and collect that. Once you've got coin three, head all of the way back up to the surface. Now up to the left, there's another clam shell with a coin. We can come up to the surface and there's a little plank of wood over to the right. So if you jump on that, climb up to the top of the pole, you've got the fifth red coin. Head back down. Now we've got a wall on the other side here. You can just about jump up there. Use a backflip or a triple jump, whatever does it for you. If you activate the switch, that will create a pathway over, if that's easier for you. But we want to get onto the main boat for the last three coins. Now for star number five, we need to activate the cannon. So if you haven't already done so, go over to the right and speak to the pink babom, and that will reveal the cannon. Either jump to it by using this pole here or swim round the back and go up that way. <laughs> So head back over towards where the cannon is. Now we need to actually make sure we can shoot ourselves onto a pole in the distance. What I would suggest doing is aiming just above the pole as you're going to see in the video. Yeah, aim around here, that should get you to the top of the pole. Once you're on here, I recommend going right to the top, doing a handstand and then jumping from there over to this platform. Here we go! Now for star six, you must have activated the green switch. This will give you the metal cap ability. So don't try this until you've activated that. Once you have though, jump into the cannon, shoot yourself across here, and we want to head back towards the cave that you did in Star 3. Now there are a few of the metal caps in this area. We're going to go for the one in the cave for the minute. I'll show you the other one which I recommend going for too. Alternatively, if you are having problems with that metal cap and getting there in time, head back towards where the switch is, grab the metal cap, and head all of the way down to the bottom. Let's head 
Now for the 100 coins star, we're going to start off by collecting a few of the coins from the coin block here. Now there are literally just over 100 coins in total across this level. So you're going to have to pretty much find them all. Now I would advise as well collecting all of the red coins, that's going to give you 16 in total. We've also got a bunch of coins if you come back up here on yourself, just around the spire. Now we're going to collect the rest of the red coins from around this area as we're here. Now we've got the remaining three red coins, so we're going to grab those, and then we can get back into the water and collect the remaining coins. Now we do have another red coin, you can go for that. I'm going to ignore that for the minute because there's plenty of coins in the next area. So we're going to grab the circular coins here, and you can actually get an extra life from these as well. So let's swim into the open cavern area. There is a blue block in here, and that's going to give us the majority of the coins that we still need. Then to finish off, just kill off the rest of the Goombas. They're going to give you an extra coin each. Then go for the circle of coins right at the back here. And you're going to get your star. Yeah. Here we go! Well, I hope this guide helped you out. If you want to check out any of my other walkthroughs, the link should be on the screen right now. If you liked the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Thanks for watching.